So I'm going to show you guys a little something here today about Prusik and how you can put them on your line and how you can use them for your shelter. So as you guys can see here, a Prusik is basically a moving anchor point that you can put on a line. You can use them to anchor your shelter down. You can use them to have an adjustable place to hang something from. You can use them to adjust tension on something. If you have a line going to the ground, you can tension that line by sliding this Prusik. So here's how to make it. First, you're going to need a piece of cordage at least arm length. Number 36 tarred bank line works really well for this. I'm just showing you for the purpose of demonstration a 550 cord, which does also work well. Once you have your piece of cordage cut, just take your two ends and put an overhand knot in it. You can use any knot you want, but for the purpose of simplicity in this video, an overhand knot is fine. Once you have that tied in a loop, now you have to put it onto the ridge line. And this is where I think people kind of get confused. So basically, take your knot end and put it over the top of the ridge line and then bring it through. So you're basically making a lark's head. All right. So you're bringing that, you're putting that knot over the top and then just bringing it through itself to make this lark's head. Now you're just going to repeat that motion. Put the knot over the ridge line. And I like to kind of spread these apart so I can see what I'm doing and not get tangled up. But you're going to put that over and then through the middle, through itself, making sure that everything is nice and neat as you dress it up. So now you'll see we basically just have two of what we started with. Now you need to do this one more time. Like I said, I kind of like to spread everything apart to just see what I'm doing. Put the knot over the ridge line, through the middle, just like that, through itself. Pull everything nice and slow, no need to rush it. Make sure you get everything dressed up good. And that's what you should have. Now the key to these pressics is once you have them tied, you wanna make sure and tighten everything down and roll it on there or whatever you have to do to get it tight. If it's loose, it'll slide when you try and pull it. But once you tighten it down, it should hold just about anything you give it. And then these pressics can use with your shelter system by leaving one in the middle sliding one out to each end. Now as we take our tarp and throw it over the center line, you'll see that we can attach the tarp to a ridge line. It's easy as putting it through the loop, putting that toggle stick through, then pulling everything tight. The same thing is done on the other end. You'll slide your prusik down to your shelter, place it through the tie-out point on your shelter, pull that tight. Now you can grab this line here and you can tension up this whole center portion of your tarp. Now I'm just setting up an A-frame tarp for purpose of demonstration. But you could probably see how you could use this a lot of different ways. But as you guys can see in here, we have this Prusik that's in the middle that we can use to hang a flashlight on or hang a candle lantern on or do whatever we need to do with it. Okay, guys, then as you take your ridge line or whatever down, you'll want to slide your Prusiks with you down towards the other end because then you'll have all your Prusiks right there so you can take everything loose, slide it all down together. Then as you coil your cord back up, you'll put the end with the eye in your line and your prussics between your fingers, then start your figure eight. Now when you get to the end, just give it a couple wraps and roll a half hitch onto it. Now you have everything nice and packaged up. Then as you unravel it, you pull it from this end and you'll slide your prussics down to give you enough room to go around your tree here. Or once you have this anchored down, all you do is walk to unravel it, pulling your Prusiks with you. So if you guys have any more questions about Prusiks, just leave them down there in comments or get a hold of me, however. You can check out this video here. I'll show you how I came up with a method to put up a ridgeline using Prusiks. Otherwise, check back in, guys, and thanks for watching.